once we have our aggregate gradation, you got percent passing on the vertical column here and the sieve size uh, on the horizontal here is what we typically plotted against and in super pave is this 0.45 power chart. So the percent passing is in base 10. 0.45 power chart means that our sieve sizes are logarithmically plotted based on uh, the sieve size and metric to the 0.45 power. For that, why that comes into play and, and why we plot it to determine if a particle size or a gradation is, is going to work for us and what we need to do to adjust bin splints or materials is if we take this 0.45 power chart and we put a dot here at the origin, 0% passing, zero size, and we put a dot up here at the uh, maximum aggregate size. In this case, here's our 12.5 mix. That's our nominal maximum aggregate size. Uh, 19 millimeter three quarter is the maximum size and draw this straight line. That's called our maximum density line. And if our gradation kind of illustrated by this dotted red line here falls to the left or upper side, we call that fine graded. So on the number eight sieve, for example, we have almost 75, 78% passing. Falls on the right side or the lower side of that maximum density line, we call it coarse graded. That same number eight sieve now only has 8% passing in this example. Why that's important is because the area represented, graphically represented under our gradation curve to that maximum density line is our VMA. And VMA is the voids and mineral aggregate. Uh, it's the intergranular void space in the compacted aggregate sample. So further it is, the greater the VMA. In the use in, in asphalt mixes, whether it was super paved, Marshall, Veeam, uh, any of the kind of standard mix design methods, VMA is extremely important. It's a common property, common volumetric property. Voids and mineral aggregate, the intergranular void space in our compacted aggregate sample. So the distribution kind of gives us that VMA. Uh, we need to maintain that VMA. That gives us the space to put our asphalt into the mix and to get adequate film thickness of that asphalt on the aggregate, but also sustain or maintain our air voids in that mix. That's the third A of those three A's we started with. So depending on the shape and the Curvature of this line, we can have coarse graded mixes, we can have fine graded, we can have gap graded mixes like the SMA on 94 uh, west of Jamestown or south of Hankinson to the state line on I-29. Important definition though, and SuperPave established a common definition across the country for these maximum and nominal maximum aggregate size. The nominal maximum aggregate size of our mix is the first sieve one size larger than that sieve that retains more than 10%. So as we look at our gradation here on the left, for example, this sieve is the first sieve to retain more than 10%, in this case, 28%. And therefore, the blue here is the nominal maximum, and by definition, the maximum is one sieve size larger. 